The Pacific Ocean. A vast blue canvas painted with dozens of cultures and home to some of the richest marine habitats on the planet. For the people of the Solomon Islands, the bounty of these coral reefs has supported their communities for centuries. Across the archipelago, a seemingly endless supply of fish has combined with crops grown on rich volcanic soils to create an idyllic vision, the envy of the Western eye. So far from the problems and turmoil of large cities, Surely the peoples of the Pacific are free from the problems that vex urban societies. Or is there trouble in paradise? At this stage it is very difficult to convince people that uh, fish or the species of fish, Bambahemi finish here. They have a natural knowledge here that uh, fish will continue, be, uh, will continue to be plenty. Like it or not, the days of relying on nature as a source of endless bounty are gone. And the time for a sustainable approach to resource management has arrived. People think that fish just happen to be there. But fish has a life cycle just like human beings and other living things. Across the Pacific, communities are having to deal with declining catches, decreasing fish sizes, and local extinctions of traditional food and income sources. In the Lang Lang Lagoon, we also use shells for shell money. And we've overfished that shell for shell money that we don't have enough shells now to produce what we need. These problems have not been sent by God, but are a direct result of our own actions. I, I think that they're looking for money, cash. I think that's the bottom line now. As populations increase, the lack of understanding of basic ecosystem functions and long-term planning for fisheries is now leading to environmental degradation that will hamper food security and political stability in the decades to come. The Fish and People DVD is a landmark educational project that has the ability to help combine scientific-based fisheries concepts with the Solomon Island people's existing knowledge of their livelihood. This DVD has the power to teach complex fisheries concepts to high school students and the leaders of tomorrow by providing a complete educational program explaining the science of fish, fishing, and fisheries in a lively and relevant style. At the heart of the syllabus is a series of five short movies that reveal the life cycle and behaviour of the marine species on which Solomon Island communities depend and which are in decline. Important scientific concepts are illustrated using a combination of 2D animations and exceptional underwater footage. The main objective of this comprehensive educational resource is to teach applied examples of ecosystem economics using real-world case studies based on fish, clams, trochus, dugong and other species of importance to Solomon and Pacific Islanders. This series fills an immediate need to empower students with a greater ecological understanding of the marine environment and we have a new generation coming in with a good understanding of what's happening, um, with a good understanding of the uh, concept and principles of conservation, I'm optimistic. It also seeks to promote the take-home message that individuals and communities are responsible for the future of their environment. 
Solomon Island is your country, and it is my country, and we have a responsibility to keep this place. We have inherited it from our ancestors, and we're just passing through. And we have the responsibility to pass it on to the next generation.